I can't believe it finally happened. We are only a few days away from the exact date of the original Jurassic Park release and I gotta say I am very happy to announce that we finally after 20 years, actually 30 years because I forgot I'm old and I guess blind, gotten a Lego Jeep. And can you believe that they gave it to us for only $20? That's insane. Also in this set you'll get the East Dock, 211 pieces, $20. Yeah, let's get into it. By taking out our trusty knife, we should be able to get into this no problem in the correct way to open a box if you want to save the box. And inside we get two number bags, the instruction manual, a small sticker sheet, and a jawless Dilophosaurus. Don't worry, the piece will be inside, I'm sure. And here is the final set. I'll have to say it was a pretty quick build, but a satisfying one, especially with this Jeep here for the first time ever in Lego. I really enjoyed the build and it has a lot of Easter eggs throughout, which we will point out throughout this review. Of course, we get Dennis Nedry, the Dilophosaurus, the Jeep, of course, and this little uh, scenery build over here that I actually really, really like. So quick little note on the Dennis Nedry minifigure. Here we have the T-Rex Rampage set, which was a $250 set, and I think it was released in 2019 and retired just about a year ago, a little over a year ago. But in the set, we do get a good amount of minifigures and a Dennis Nedry. But let's compare those. So here are the two Dennis Nedrys. On the left, we have the Dennis Nedry from this set back here, the $20 set. And on the right, we have the one from the T-Rex Rampage. So I wanted to take a quick look at these because there's some interesting differences. So they both have two faces, regular face, this one's a little bit more evil over here, and the faces with the Dilophosaurus Venom. But what I found interesting was that there's a different color Jurassic Park logo on each of these figures. So over here it's a little, it's more red, over here it's more yellow. So after reviewing the footage, and I'll show some images on the screen now, it is mostly yellow with a little red um, stripe around the logo. So I kind of give the accuracy to the new figure a little bit more in this situation over the more expensive T-Rex Rampage. However, it gets more interesting when we look at the back. So, in the new figure, there is no Jurassic Park logo on the back. And over here, we can see it is it is more accurate with the yellow on the inside and the red on the outside. So that's what it really looks like. However, after reviewing the footage, it's... Lego could have gone either way with this because it's the problem with the movie that the, the logo is sometimes on his back and sometimes not in this scene that we have this set for. And it, I, I don't know why that is. If they, didn't, if they only had one copy with the logo and they didn't want him to mess it up as he was like sliding down the hill and stuff. But the logo on the back is sometimes there, sometimes not. And even the logo on the front is sometimes not there. Would it have been nice for Lego to add it? Yes because they already had it before. But it's actually kind of funny that they took it off and maybe that's a, they're trying to give us two versions of the same figure. One is accurate and the other one is accurate. It just depends on what individual moment you're looking at the movie. So here is the Dilophosaurus. It looks pretty good. It's not a complete all the way around kind of like more in the movie, but I mean, it, it looks well enough in my mind and mouth opens up, nice little snap to it overall. Nice little uh, dino fig, I like it. And here is the Jeep, which looks really, really good. It is a little um, small, but it all the details are here and I think it's well enough. It's definitely well enough, it's got enough detail up here. There's a lot of stickers on it though, kind of all over the place, but there is a lot of hidden detail inside of this. So let's take a look at that. So. You can remove the canopy here and we can put Dennis Nedry inside. And some of the Easter eggs are that on this side, on the driver's side, it has his two little feet for when he fell down the hill and getting back into the car. But on this side, it has an interesting little dino footprint for when the Dilophosaurus gets inside the car. Now really, I think it got in from this side with the door being open. He left the door open when he fell down the hill and then it got in. But I like that touch of detail. That was really fun for Lego to do. And yeah, I'm super glad that we finally have this in Lego. Now Lego could have released this set with just these two pieces for $20 and I think it would have been fine. But I actually really enjoy that they included this because 
it adds a lot of Easter eggs and it really completes the scene. So one of the play features is that the truck can come by and just knock this right off. It's supposed to do that with the jumper plate. So he runs it over like in the movie, which is accurate and cool and good play. And then over here, we have the Barbasol can, which is cool. It's all printed pieces on the can and the lid. And we have a little frog here, a white frog, which I'm guessing is supposed to show the uh, frog DNA in the missing gaps of the di dino DNA. But with the sign itself, I mean, all of these are stickered pieces. And this is a little hard to uh, place here because it's octagonal on a circle and it just kind of messes with your mind. But you can break this off again. And what's really cool is that this is like free spinning. I mean, if you kind of remove some of these pieces just like when he's uh after he knocks it over he's spinning this and he's like i don't know which way is east so that's a lot of play features there some easter eggs it looks good they have all the detail east dock they have this um map of the island and the spinning thing you can knock it over barbasol can you got your dilophosaurus you got your jeep you got your dennis nedry what else do you need for twenty dollars overall this set is excellent it's a definite pickup for twenty dollars it's a nine out of ten for me and if you enjoyed the video please consider giving it a like and until next time keep building and thanks for watching